Back now outside uh, the meal house on the road out here on the patio, and it's a nice, you know, steamy summer day. So let's talk soup, which when I read that, I thought that was the silliest idea we could do on the morning news. But well, no, we're doing cold summer soup. We got gazpachos, vichy soie. We also have Chef Ani, who is here in person, face to face. Nice to see you. Nice to see Night, you. Not in a little zoom box as yeah. you cook and we watch and right. get jealous because you're eating all the stuff you make <laughs> and we sit there and go man this this job stinks sometimes but we're gonna fix that today we're absolutely gonna fix that as the wind picks up cold so i love this stuff i really do because it's a great thing to bring on a picnic it's easy to make in advance you can make a couple of drums of it if you want and keep it all summer long right absolutely all right what are we gonna do first so here? we're gonna talk about vichy soise i think it's the soup people don't make quite as often i don't <laughs> so we're going to change that today. When I'm at a highfalutin <laughs> French restaurant, which is almost <clears throat> never, by the way. But the, the, the main ingredient here is potatoes. And we were talking before the break about the right potato for Vichy Soie. And there really is one. There is one, right? So you want to do really a russet potato, or these are just gold potatoes. You want to do one that isn't too creamy. Mm -hmm. So one that just is not is going to cook You're looking for a little starch. And a little bit of starch. Okay. You're not looking for something that's going to get goopy and, and uh, too, too starchy. We're, we're, and, we're big and, uh, on low goop meals low here. So this is, you know, as you can see, it's the highfalutin French, but it's pretty easy, right? Because like, this is pretty much <laughs> you all are, that goes in You are in never here. going to refer to your vichy soie without saying highfalutin again, aren't it's, it's you? A new, yeah, it's I, the new I, branding I did, for I did it. that. We got some ramps here as well, which look beautiful, by the way. Beautiful ramps. It's just leeks, right? And mm -hmm. potatoes and some chicken stock. And the trick is, because you need, you know, when you're doing a soup like this, you need one of these puppies. I'll tell you, I like these because you are in charge of how much you blend, uh -huh. right? So you don't overblend. You Same thing with the gazpacho. So you mm -hmm. can have it as coarse or as fine as Which you Which means it leads to the cream. And how much creamer you put or broth, in, so, in, in this case, are you putting into the viche to, 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 to couple with the potatoes and stuff? So you cook them in broth like in water. Instead mm -hmm. of water, you're going to cook the potatoes in your chicken broth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you're just going to blend every, and the leeks, you're going to blend everything together. And, and when, then, you, when you look at the, 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 the final product here, I mean, it, that's a thin... Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, let you now... You can finish it cream or a little yogurt if you want a little... Uh, Love brightness. Now, if you want to do chunky, gazpacho is your way to go. Gazpacho's and your way to go. tomatoes look fantastic here. Thank you. So, you know, we have a couple of different kinds of tomato tomatoes mm -hmm. because they all have different degrees of sweetness mm -hmm. and acidity. And so I like to blend different tomatoes together. Uh -huh. um, and then what, what are the best tomatoes for? So the you. best tomatoes are vine ripe. Okay. Vine ripe or beefsteak tomatoes. Okay. And you want to make sure they're ripe. Do you want to use the little ones? We're going to use the little ones yeah. for a little sweetness. Okay. You All know, right. if you want a little sweetness. Since I touch this, do I have to eat this? <laughs> These little guys are called Campari. I love them. And they're oh, I buy those are delicious. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they're really good. Okay. So. All right. Same deal, but this time it's not just tomatoes. You want to add a couple of cucumbers. Absolutely. But you also have some poblano peppers here. I do. So this particular one we had a lot of fun with. We took right. the poblanos and mm -hmm. some peaches, and we threw them on the grill. And we gave them a nice char, and then we put them in our gazpacho. Because well, even when you blend that in, you're going to get that char throughout the whole thing. Absolutely. You can see the speckles in the soup right, right and there. And by the way, the one thing I don't, I don't see, where are the peaches? We ate them. Sorry, they're right ah, there. there's peaches in here though. There's peaches. Okay, so yeah. that and and Ben and we were, she was actually impressed when I said what I love to do with the gazpacho. I do a watermelon gazpacho, which and you know, you can disguise the limit. You can do whatever you want, make it as spicy as you want, mix whatever vegetables. And again, this stuff will keep, right? Absolutely, it will keep a long time in the fridge. Now talk talk about what you're doing here because I love these. This is almost like to go gazpacho. So it is to go gazpacho. It's also really good for the kids or whatever. You mm -hmm. put those in the fridge, they can grab it's and, a and great have them. Meal lunch. For, it's a great for kids. Perfect. But you're also doing this at the Shakespeare Festival coming up, right? We are. We are thrilled to be uh, doing the concession for the Shakespeare Festival at our farm, mm -hmm. July 7th through August 22nd with the Playhouse Theater Group. Uh -huh. We actually will be selling these to go for uh, while you can watch a play and have some highfalutin um, <laughs> I Falutin <laughs> Shakespeare Festival Vichy Soie. Right. You heard it here first. I'm getting the cut. If you want the recipes, of course, they're going to be on our website. We put all the ingredients up while we were uh, hobnobbing here. But Chef Ani, who's all over the place doing catering stuff, is going to hook you up with some uh, great ideas. But more importantly, start with this and just go go crazy. Just Absolutely. expand, right? Absolutely. Nice to see you in nice person. To see you. Delighted, as always, in Fox 61 Mealhouse stuff. All the clips, all the recipes, everything except the high Falutin Vichy Soie is on our website at fox61.com. I offered her 100 bucks if she'd chug this on the air she, for, for her favorite charity. She wouldn't do it. I might do it during the break. We'll take a time out. When we come back, we got to look at the weather. We'll wrap up this humid day in Fox 61 Morning News. Come on back.